In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Discount Scheduler to create bundled uh, discount types. So, we originally developed this functionality for tobacco industry, but despite the naming convention on this app, it can absolutely be used by any other industry or uh, merchant type. So, we've already created a couple of discounts to quickly demonstrate uh, the functionality. And so, I'm going to go through how we've done the setup. Alright, so here we have um, the name of the discount. Now, enable bundling, we have to select this checkbox that's called scan data. And the name scan data has something to do with the tobacco industry. And if, only you, if all you want is just a bundle discount, you can ignore the name and simply just select that checkbox to get the bundling options. So here we said that we want an all-day event. The other option is to select it as a recurring event, um, but I'm going to skip that for now. And so we have the discount expressed as 25 cents, and we're going to go to next. So this right here is the page that talks about the bundles. So the account funded one has to be selected so that you see the bundling options. But again, despite the naming convention, it can absolutely be used by anybody for any items because that's the next thing we do on the next page is we select the items. So here we have some options and this particular discount is set up to be triggered for every two items. So if there's three items, no discount on one of them. If there's uh, five items, there's not going to be a discount on one of them as well. And so let me kind of go ahead and save this and show you that we have it assigned to, I believe, breads. Yeah, so the, to the breads category and all the items that are in it. Right, so let's go ahead and save that. And um, let's go ahead and get inside the second one. Now, the only difference on the second one is uh, right here on the next page where we're saying that the discount needs to be triggered after at least three items have been purchased. So if less than three items are purchased, no discount is triggered. And if more than three items are purchased, then the discount is triggered on all the items. And that's the other form of bundling, if you will. Um, so we have this one set up on meat uh, to easily identify later. And all right, so now we have the discount set up. Let me show you how this functions in the register. So let me go ahead and start with the new, cancel out of this. Let me go ahead and start with the new register here. So to test first one, I'm gonna select breads and we're gonna grab this $25 item here. And you can see nothing has happened because as if you recall, uh, we need to have at least two items in the register for the discount to trigger. So I'm gonna increase the two and now the 25 cents is created. So we're splitting the 25 cent discount between the two items to always equal to 25 cents. And if you have three items, um, you can see that what, what happens here is we're discounting the two and not discounting the third. Um, and then if we add four items, now all four items are discounted. Okay, so that's the first version of the discounts, and um, let me show you how the second one works. Right, so we're going to get out of this category and go into meats, and um, let's go ahead and choose this Cana uh, Canadian sour cream, and let's say that we have uh, about a dollar. All right, so X1, nothing. X2, again, nothing. Now, X3 produces a discount of 45 cents. Um, if we go X4, we have another discount, and another discount, and another discount, and another discount. So, it issues discount per item when at least three items have been purchased versus the first scenario where a number of items uh, that you've specified is the number of items that trigger the next uh, discount here. So these are different ways of bundling discounts uh, that are available through the discount scheduler app. Thank you.